New tonight, Customs and Border Protection says the Valley's border fence is getting new gates. And some people living along the fence welcome the plan. Channel 5's Ryan Nelson talked to one Valley woman who has a gate on her property but doesn't care to have the key. The resident we met tells us the gate behind her home gives her cause for concern. Juana Benavides has property on both sides of the border fence. When I need to go to the other side, I call the Border Patrol office and they send one of the agents that is working in this area to open the gate for me. They unlock the gate and when I finish my work, they lock it again. Customs and Border Protection offered Benavides her very own key to the gate. She turned it down. If something were to happen, that gate isn't very secure. If something happens, I don't want to have problems. I don't want them to think that I made a duplicate of the key and I gave it to someone else, and that someone is smuggling something. And if I don't have a key, I'm not responsible for anything. Customs and Border Protection tweeted this graphic on Tuesday. It states 35 new border fence gates will be installed in the Rio Grande Valley in their next fiscal year. The Department of Justice's Southern District of Texas tells Channel 5 News the gates will be installed in Hidalgo and Cameron counties. Benavides says she hopes the new gates are more like this one. It's similar in height and stature to the border fence. I would like to see gates similar to the wall, like the ones they have in other areas, not one of those gates that you can scale or crawl under. This is part of a larger plan to improve levee and border wall systems in San Diego and the Rio Grande Valley. The gates will fill in gaps along the border fence. We are still waiting to confirm where exactly the gates will be, who will be responsible for installing them, and what price tag they will carry. We will update you as soon as those details are made available. In the studio, Ryan Nelson, Channel 5 News.